Hi, I'm Paul Haynes, author of the book Growing Roses. We're halfway through spring here in Australia and we've had some drizzling rain pretty solidly for the last week. Now what's that mean for our roses? You'll see in some of your whites and yellows, you'll get little pink blotches on the roses that have just started. Now this will have started early on the rain, but what happens then is the petals start to rot and you'll see some where the petals have rotted so much that the flower doesn't open. Now what's this called? This is called botrytis blight. It's also known as grey mould. So if you see the stems where the, the flower's gone a bit more, it'll actually get this grey fungus on it, grey mould on it. Now some of these flowers just don't open properly. So what do we do? How do we fix this? Well the simple thing is, this is sanitation. So it's inspection and sanitation. We go through, we find the damaged flowers, and we cut them off and we dispose of them. So I've just thrown that very well into a rubbish bin. Don't be tempted to compost these. The fungus on this will live on. So what happens if untreated is this fungus will actually start coming down the stem and kill that stem. So what we want to do is cut that and deadhead it right back, get rid of these flowers altogether, cut them back a decent length. Um, you can cut them back further if you like, it depends on, on what you're doing. But something like this, now we've got some botrytis blight in it, we've got some rot in there, um, there's a couple of little hibiscus beetles coming out as well, um, these roses haven't been sprayed, so um, what I can do is actually just cut a nice stem off that and keep that one and put it in the house. It, yes, it has some rotting petals, if we're really concerned about that and the look of it in a vase, I can simply easily just rock the petals back and forth and we can take these petals off and ta-da, I have a nice clean looking rose. Now, the reality is, once it's in a vase for a couple of days, these will start rotting as well. The fungus is in the actual flower itself, so don't get too concerned, but Pope John Paul II, it's a beautiful perfume rose. You can see by the leaves, this has been sitting in rain. It's a very disease resistant plant. Grows beautifully in southeast Queensland, where I live. Um, and I'm pretty sure everyone's happy with it. If you don't like the name, just call it Big White or something else. It doesn't really matter, just um, buy Pope John Paul II. So all of this, I'll go through and just clean up and get rid of these. The ones that I look at and say, is that a flower stem? Can I pick those petals off? I might keep those and put them in the house because it's just nice to have flowers in the house as well. Um, you can see I'm not that gentle in treating them. If you've got something like this, this has got a bit of rot in it as well, I'd also get rid of that. Um, but a newer bud like this that really doesn't have any rot in it yet, I'd just leave it and see how it goes. Anything like this, the newer buds, just leave those on the bush. Uh, but what we want to do is get rid of anything like this that's just balled up. Um, it's not going to open. There's no point in keeping it. What you want to do also is have a look on the ground. Um, I picked this one up earlier. This is a flower that's died. The petals have died off. It's dropped on the ground. Let's get rid of those and get them out of the garden. Sanitation. Get rid of all the fungus so it doesn't reinfect the plant and infect the new flowers. So when this next flush comes through in about six weeks time, you're going to get nice fresh flowers. If it's not raining the whole time, uh, then you'll get that new growth, that new fresh growth that won't have this disease in it. The chemical spray for this is Mangazeb Plus, and you can spray that on to kill the fungal spores if that's what you'd like to do. The thing with Botrytis Blight is it does form resistance to chemical sprays. So what you want to do is alternate that with something else. Talk to your garden center. There's another product called Elliot, um, but there are other products for Botrytis Blight. So the best thing for this is go and talk to your local garden center, your local nursery, take in a flower, explain what you've got, that it's Botrytis Blight, um, and what to do for it. This is all included in my book. For those of you who've got my book, um, just refer to the chapter on diseases and fungal diseases, and it will go through what I've talked about today. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in more videos like this, I'll be doing more and more as time goes on. And just subscribe to my YouTube channel.